If you love plants, but drawing them feels like a challenge, this video is here to make it a breeze. I've got three super easy plants for us to sketch, each in just 5 minutes. I will guide you every step of the way and share some helpful tips. All you need are just a few markers and a trusty pen. Join me in this art journey, and let's explore, learn, and relax together. Let's kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, sketching two delicate flower branches in a glass vase. If drawing curved lines is giving you a hard time, no worries, we will use straight lines instead to make it easier. Begin with two short straight lines for the neck of the vase, followed by another pair for the shoulders. Glide your hand swiftly to craft long, crisp lines for the body of the vase. For the base, sketch a gently curved line. Don't be discouraged if it takes a few attempts to achieve the perfect lines. Feel free to use a pencil for some practice rounds before diving into the ink work. Once you are ready, grab a pen to trace the outline. I will talk about two different line styles in another tutorial. You will find the link up in the right corner if you are interested. But basically, you've got choice to go fast or slow, and stay consistent. Personally, I like drawing a little fast to create sharp lines. With practice, each line becomes a stepping stone on the path to improvement. The cast shadow is optional. It will make our drawing look a bit more grounded. But if you are aiming for a super clean look, you can skip it. When drawing the branches, forget about those long lines. Let's do small section of lines one at a time and connect them. In this way, it will naturally create a more natural look. Let's make two branches have different lenses. Like the branch has its own personality. You got this. Now for those little branches, let's add a gentle curve. And don't forget some nuts. They make our branch look more natural and realistic. Once the ink is dry, say goodbye to the pencil outlines. Onto the vase coloring, super easy. Follow the vase shape with your marker strokes. Around the shoulder, use curved strokes to show the round shape. Down the body, use long and straight strokes to capture that glassy texture. A little tip, lifting the marker at the end gives you a nice gradient from dark to light. While the ink does its drying work, let's dive into the delightful world of flowers. Grab the marker and with the corner of its long edge, gently dab some marks. Feel free to go for classic round dots or try some slanted ones like I'm doing here. The shape of your dots adds a unique flair, so feel free to explore and find your style. I'm scattering a few dots on the ground to create the impression of flower petals gracefully landing. It's like adding a sweet story to our drawing. Now grab a lovely shade of green and sketch in a few baby leaves. Keep it subtle, just a touch. We want those beautiful flowers to shine without any distractions. Color the branch with a brown marker, reserving some white space for the highlight. I always mention this, but I still forget sometimes. It's very hard to resist coloring every inch of the paper. With practice, you will find the right balance. Following the shape of the vase, start adding a medium shade to add more depth. Remember to add some dark values on the bottom of the vase as well. The bottom part is thicker 
and reflects some shadows. Now for the real game changer, the white paint. This step introduces the perfect glass texture. Highlight as you like. No strict rule here. It's all depending on the lighting and the surrounding objects. Lastly, let's enhance our flowers with additional layers. Feel free to stick with the same colors you used last time, or experiment with darker shades. To get a better perspective, you can place your drawing at a distance to assess. Use a pen to add some intricate details. Now we have a beautiful drawing. Simple but very heartwarming. If you are following along, take a moment to pause the video and refresh. I will be right here waiting. A short break can really boost our drawing energy. Now let's dive into an even more fun part, drawing roses in a vase. Drawing many layers of panel might seem very challenging, but I assure you this drawing is wonderfully easy. Begin by sketching the vase. You can go for any shape you like. After experimenting with many sketches, I chose one with a small neck and a broad bottom. Next, sketch some circles on paper where you want to draw the roses. Make sure they spread out randomly and have different sizes. Before we embark on ink work, consider practicing on a separate paper. For me, drawing long lines, especially on camera, can be nerve-wracking. It's completely normal to feel a bit anxious. It's part of the excitement of our art journey. My lines are not flawless, especially when I get nervous. But free not, once we add colors later, they will hide any imperfection of the line work. Pick your favorite flower colors, begin with small random curves from the center and expand outward. Just doodle freely, forget about perfection, but don't forget to leave a little gap between curves. Those empty spaces can help build layers and depths to our drawing later. Now let's grab a green marker to draw some leaves. Stick to using the corner of the chisel tip. I'm drawing leaves in pairs. The shape looks like a heart or even remind me the fortune cookies. Simple and delightful. Just draw two curves against each other and fill in the center. Try extending some leaves into smaller sizes, mimicking the appearance of a full branch of foliage. To add more depth to the leaves, let's play with light and dark values. I have chosen this pale teal green color to create a faded and distant effect. Repeat the process drawing more leaves around each flower, making sure each pair of leaves have different sizes so they will look more natural. Now let's wait the ink to dry and do its own magic. Grab a pen and let's refine some details. To draw the rose, begin with a tiny triangle in the flower center. Then add small curves around it, layer by layer. Keep it simple, leaving gaps between each curve for a loose and natural look.
for flowers that are a bit farther away. Draw a few layers, as distant objects appear less detailed. After finishing the roses, trace some leaves but not all of them. Adding ink details contribute to depth, making leaves with line work appear more forward, while others recede into background. With a very dark green, add the shadows around the leaves, further enhance their depths. While the leaves gain dimension, the flowers might still look a bit flat. To fix this, use the same color or a slightly darker shade to add more layers of color. Now the drawing is coming together. I forgot to hit the record button while I was coloring the vase. I did some hatching to create a core shadow on the vase right side. I followed the contour of the vase, adding subtle shadow. Creating lines and dots to create a texture. Now let's play with highlights. Just tap where you feel it's right. For the final touch, I like using a thicker pen to bring in a bit more shadow. Congratulations on creating a beautiful bouquet of roses in a vase. I really hope you enjoyed the session. Don't forget to take a moment to admire your creation, and feel free to take a well-deserved break. If you made this far in this video, I'm very proud of your dedication. Thank you so much for keeping me company on this art journey. In this final chapter, let's create a beautiful bonsai tree. The technique here is the same as in my other tree tutorials. If you are familiar with my method, feel free to speed up the video. If you are new here, let's dive into drawing this bonsai tree together, step by step. Similar to our previous drawings, I choose to draw a simple shaped pot, keeping it minimal to highlight the tree itself. Drawing the tree trunk is straightforward but it might take many tries to achieve the curves you like. Taking it easy, envision it as writing the letter S in an uneven form, repeating it twice to form the tree trunk. Now add some small extended branches. I'm 
sketching some circles here to simplify the foliage cluster shape. One mistake I made unfortunately in this drawing is making them too symmetrical. I didn't realize it until I added the colors. If you are following along, make sure your overall form is asymmetric for a more natural look. Now let's grab a pen to trace our pencil sketch. As I mentioned earlier, I prefer drawing a bit faster for a crisp look. I might make a separate tutorial focus on the line work in the future. The more we draw, the better we will get at it. At the bottom of the tree, we can add some small moss around. Gently erase a pencil sketch of the circles. For the first layer of color, I will use yellow. I like moving my marker at a roughly 30 degree angle with light pressure first. I'm using wide slanted rectangular strokes to fill in each circle. The angle does matter, but you can choose any direction you like. The key is to keep it consistent to create a more uniform look. Now grab a light green color to repeat the process. Make sure to use light pressure first to create lighter shade initially. Let's spill some marker secrets. Markers are cool, but they are not like watercolors, where one stroke can carry multiple colors. By adding a layer of yellow on the bottom, it will help enrich the green tone especially when you don't have many green colors. Now use the same green color we can stack ink on the lower right side of each foliage cluster. Think of them like 3D spheres. The light is coming from the upper left. So we are casting shadows on the lower right part. Switch to a darker green color to add some contrast. We can dab some small dots around to create a texture. Use a dark brown color on the right side of the tree trunk. I made a mistake that made it too smooth. I should have left some white space so I can add some texture, but I'm rolling with it now. A lot of times we need to learn how to embrace imperfection and let it go. Just like the previous drawings, I'm using a gray marker to add a bit of core shadow to the bonsai part. You can skip the ink work for the shadow if it's not your style, but I found it as a loose and artistic touch. At this stage, the drawing looks complete, simple yet with enough depth. However, I can't resist the temptation to add a few more details. Just draw some pointy marks around each cluster of foliage, loose marks on the light side, dense marks on the shadow side to help build more volume. Mm -hmm. 
adding highlights and drawing wide branches gives the drawing a light and airy feel. Looking at the mistake of making the tree look symmetrical, I did feel a few minutes of frustration and decided to let it go. Surprisingly, the tree looks like it's dancing and cheering. What a fun twist to our art adventure. From here, we can use white paint to fix small mistakes and keep using the pen to refine some small details. I really hope you enjoyed this video and had a relaxed and fun time drawing these pens with me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I always love to hear from you. Thank you so much for spending time drawing with me. I will see you in the next video.